Right, so as I said, I've kind of already prepped my eyes, um, my eyebrows, and I've just used a little brush just to get my shape a little bit more. Okay, then what I'm going to do, I go in with a pencil. So I'm just going to clean the top of my um, pencil because mine's a retractable one. It's by Billion Dollar Brows. And I'm just going to just clean that because I want to be safe. Okay, I want to avoid any cross-contamination. So I just take off the first layer of that. If you're using a normal pencil, you just need to sharpen it each time you use it. Okay, so I just apply... First of all, underneath my brow, just to get that shape, okay? So I would completely changed my eye shape. Um, and I don't want my eyebrows to be too blocky. Now, eyebrows are the hardest thing with a client, okay? I get lots of clients, particularly brides, who say, I want my makeup to look like this, and it's a full-on Instagram picture. Okay, so Insta Instaglam style makeup, where it's a nice blocky brow, really defined, and they have eyebrows like me. Okay, so what the first thing I'm going to do is um, obviously go in and make the eyebrows really structured. Now, quite often when I've done that, the model or the client, sorry, has gone... Oh no, no, my eyebrows, I'm not used to it. They're too thick uh, and they're too dark. Okay, what you need to do is take a picture of them. Okay, so say someone had my eyebrows. Now, if I was just to slightly enhance my eyebrow as it is, I would be devastated to have photos took um, with that eyebrow shape. Okay, so the best thing to do is take a photo of them before you do makeup. Okay, and in the photos, they'll see that the eyebrows are pretty non-existent okay then I would do just one eyebrow as I have okay um I have at the moment only put my pencil in so once you've finished an eyebrow then take another picture and show them the difference before and after okay um and nine times out of ten they'll go see what you mean go for it just do what do what you want you know best okay so that's what they tend to do so always do that and just ask them to trust you as a makeup artist okay you're the makeup artist um and you're there to help enhance their features um, and make them look the best they can look okay and eyebrows are the biggest thing so if you have a look already how an eyebrow can frame an eye okay so that's pretty noticeable <laughs> I, I actually don't know what's going on with my brows they are horrendous i once got them plucked um at my previous college i worked at and i literally had about two strands of hair at the end and a big bulb here and they've never recovered so i kind of have to do lots of corrective work with my eyebrows um but i don't like anything too thick i'm, I'm getting to an age now where i don't want to look like you know in an Instagram model because I am certainly not that person so I tend to use my pencil just to get my shape and structure okay and if you can see I hope you can see it you can still see all my brush hair um, all my hairs in there um, without it looking too blocky once I've done my pencil and I've got my structure I then go in with a powder or a pomade okay um, I tend to use the like fix and gels you get with the um, powders and make up my own pomade so I can sort of um, make my own sort of strength up. And then once again, I'm just going to go over and I'm going to go in the directions of the hair. I'm not filling it in, making it blocky, but if your client wants that, you do it, okay? You have to cater to their needs, um, but you also have to make sure you're not doing something that you're not happy with because your name's going to be um, plastered over that makeup, okay? So you kind of have to trust your own judgment. You need to look at pictures of different um, types of eyebrows for different age groups, um, etc. Okay? And just kind of do what you think's best, okay? But as I said, your eyebrows frame your face, so you need to do what you can. So I start off with like a medium brown sort of shade and I just work in this from about three quarters of the way across and then I work all the way to the end, okay? Then I get um, a shade which is about two shades lighter. This is more like a dark sort of blonde and I'm gonna start bringing that into the front of my eyebrow because I want that slightly lighter. 
and I don't want it to look too blocky. Okay, so that's all I do with an eyebrow, and then I'll get maybe a brow gel. This is Gimme Brow by Benefit. Okay, and I will work that in to make sure I've still got that texture because I like fluffy brows. Okay, and a lot of my brides to be and my youthful prom people like to have a fluffy brow. Okay, so brows are in at the moment, um, and that's what I tend to do because I prefer a natural finish than I do um, a full-on structured. That's just personal preference, okay? But if someone wanted a proper full-on Instagram brow, I would do that, okay? If I felt it was appropriate for their look. So I'm gonna do a quick time-lapse, get all up to date um, with my whole process, finish the eye prep, um, and then we'll go on to eyeshadow. So, I've done my eyebrows, I've prepped my eyes, I'm now gonna make a start on the eyeshadow. So, bearing in mind, we have 45 minutes even to do skin prep and a special occasion makeup, okay? Um, so, we need to make sure, really, the base is perfect um, and the eyes aren't too overcomplicated um, and that they just kind of complement um, the person's sort of skin tone okay so you do have to kind of go with what sort of color scheme they like making sure that does complement them and whatever they might they might be wearing um so i'm going to go in with a neutral shade to start off with just to um just to sort of really define my eye socket area okay so i'm going in with kind of a pinkish beigey sort of color um i'm going to go in this. I'll show you what one I'm using. So I'm going to go in with this tone first of all. So it's a bit like a, I don't really know really, like a, a rosy sort of tone really. Um, and then I've got a fluffy brush and I'm just going to let that do the work for me. Okay. And I'm going to work that into my socket area. So the socket area can be found. So if you start from the outer corner, you can feel that bone. You don't want to dagger their eyes. Okay. But you just let the brush go backwards and forwards. Sometimes you might want to do little circular motions just to make that a bit more visible if they've got a really deep socket line. Okay, some people, when they open their eyes, you might not be able to see a socket line, they might have a, like a flat sort of face, so a um, flat, flat eye, should I say, um, and that they might need you to add this structure, okay? So this sort of eye um, shadow style is something that's gonna suit most people, okay? So most eye shapes. Um, it opens it out and it's just a good one for any bridal or prom sort of style looks. Okay, so getting my shape first and getting the first bit, which is gonna give me a bit of a smoky. So I'm going for like a sultry, smoky, rose goldy kind of eye, okay? But it's a soft contoured one. So this part stays light brow bone stays light, we're not going to go in with loads of black like we did last week, okay? So with that same colour, I work a little bit underneath my eye, okay? That's the first bit done and dusted. I'm just going to use um, a big fat buff and brush. I'm just going to work in circular motions and I'm keeping into that socket area. I'm not dragging this color up. All I'm doing is softening and blending, okay? So you can barely see it now, okay? Then I'm gonna go in with, I've just dropped a brush, and shade darker, okay? So I'm gonna go in with this one here. And I'm gonna make it a little bit darker. I'm gonna go in with a brush which is a little bit more flatter and more dense. It's called a pack and brush. Um, and I'm gonna go in. So load up my brush, tap off the excess, and we're gonna bring this now just to the outer part of the lash line. And we're gonna start bringing that into that socket line. Okay, and we're gonna start adding a bit more definition. Okay, 
okay? These are all matte products that I'm using at the moment just because um, they have a stronger pigment in them um, and for the sake of a video, I would just like you to be able to see placement um, and how much product I put on at a time, okay? So I just find it a little bit easier to sort of show you with um, matte based products. Shimmer based products are pretty, but I would just make sure you steer away from too many shimmer based iridescent sort of products on mature skin, because what happens is that um, they highlight um, and they highlight imperfections. So if there's a lot of um, crepiness around the eye area, and <laughs> like mine, um, and there's lots of fine lines and wrinkles, any iridescent stuff and highlighters will just enhance those. So matte based products are best for anyone who's got maturing or mature skin. Okay, your youthful eyes, you could probably go for anything, but it's quite nice just to have a go at this sort of eyeshadow style. You might wanna do something different, it's entirely up to you, um, but the basis around the prep and everything, I want you to be able to follow. Okay, so that's my blend and done. Now I'm going to go in with a pretty, um, I'm going to go in with my uh, Stacey Marie palette. Okay, and I'm going to go in with a bit of, oh, I think I'm going to go in for a bit of Hush, which is this sort of iridescent-y, um, rose goldy sort of colour. So I'm going to go in with that first, because that's going to complement and that's just going to just add a little bit of interest into my eye. Okay, and I'm going to work that over the top of what I've just done. And because it's a little bit iridescent, okay, over the top of the mat, it just sort of softens it all and adds a pretty effect. Okay, so once again, just use the brush, um, which is like a nice um, blending buffer brush, and just working that in. You can see it's not taken much time at all just to build that up. Then I'm going to go in with a fat buffing brush. I'm just going to soften this top part out. Okay, so that's that one. Then what I'm going to do is start adding a little bit of highlight into the eye. I'm going to go for my favourite highlight, which is... It's actually um, Cookie by Benefit. Okay, and you can see it's quite... It's quite a pearly one, okay? If someone's mature, I would just go for a matte sort of style. I know I have got mature skin, <laughs> but let's just pretend for the day that I'm very youthful, okay? I'm thinking about who you guys are gonna be working on so we can get a nice look. Now I apply with just a little square tipped brush or any sort of pack and brush will do. I'm just gonna work it in a thin line at the base of my eyebrow. And then this whole brow bone I want to make that pop so I'm going to bring that out by using that. Then I'm going to add a tiny little bit to the very inner corner of my eye. Where that tear duct is, that's where you should see this really light product. Okay, so that's just brought that out slightly. Then I'm going to go in with a slightly darker, sort of more pinky undertoned um, highlighter. I'm going to go in with Saint which is in the Stacey Marie palette. I'm just gonna pat that and blend this really light white sort of highlighter in with a color which is complementary to the eyeshadow color that I've used. Okay, and I'm just gonna pat that and blend that in. Then I'm gonna use a big fat buff and brush again and just soften that all. Okay, done. And then I'm gonna start adding definition to the eye. So, bish bash bosh, that's my base colors. I might need to add more, but we're going with the flow at the moment. Now I'm gonna go in with <laughs> some liquid liner. Okay, so I'm gonna do this um, in a video for the next bit.